Hey what's up guys it's Danaby here So in my last video somebody commented that I should do loot from uh, like a certain amount of horde beacons So I decided to only do 50 since um, I think 300 would take way too long So I built like this little fortified bit in uh, what's it called Taylor Beach I think So I'm just gonna show it to you guys and I'll start doing the horde beacons so as you walk in, there's amazing stairs. Whoa, look at that. And when we go in here, this is like the place where I'll place the horde beacon right here. I've got my horde beacon, I'll place it here. And I've got like these flares lighting it up and as well as this like calculator thing, I don't know. And then in these uh, lockers, I'm going to be storing all the stuff I get from them. So yeah, I think they're going to be like full after I do like 10 or something. And also, if I run out of space in them, I have uh, wardrobes on the floors so I can store stuff in them. Okay, let's go upstairs now. Now, on the way upstairs, I have the, my, my trusty maple strike in here. Just in case, you know, I run out of ammo or something, I don't know. And I've got like this little glass uh, roof or floor or whatever. And I can see if like the horde beacon was broken or if I still have to like kill a zombie or something. And then all the way over here I just have like ramparts and like stuff so I can see out of here. And also I'm using two mods. The giant backpack mod as well as like this OP gun mod. I'll leave the link to both of them in the description below. This model is actually from like the futuristic gun pack I think. And also I'm gonna see how much experience I get from them. Right now I have zero. And yeah, we'll see how much I get. So yeah, I'll come back when I uh, do all the horde beacons. Okay, so I am back now. I have done uh, 49 horde beacons and now I'm gonna do the last one. So uh, I've placed down some turrets with some like decked out maple strikes. I'm also gonna be using my maple strike from here. Let's just put the OP gun in there. There we go. Let's go. Whoa. The maple strikes are probably gonna do all the work for me to be honest. Oh, I think the maple strikes run out of ammo. Okay, that was quick. But we've still got a lot of barbed wire. Okay, so let's go and see what items we got. So we got an Echo, a high caliber Ranger and all this stuff. So I'm just gonna add them to like the little spreadsheet I made and I'll be right back. Okay now, uh, just before I show you what I got, I do want to mention that I did do this on a normal difficulty and on a PI, so the stuff you may get may be different on like other maps, I'm not sure though. And also yeah, uh, on other difficulties. And also the experience amount may be inaccurate because I did use some like uh, sentries before with like night raids and stuff. But not for all the rounds, so they got a little bit of kills as well. And I didn't get XP for them. Just before I show you how much items I got, I'm gonna check how much experience I have. So let's see. Oh, 21,000 XP. Hold on, let me get my calculator. I'm gonna see how much uh, zombie stat is. 21,853. And one zombie gives you uh, 6 XP, so divide that by 6. It's 3,642 zombies. And also some uh, zombies did get killed by like the traps and stuff so I killed about 4,000 zombies. Now I'll put the spreadsheet up on the screen right now so you can like look at how much stuff I got. Uh, the surprising thing is actually that I got my first f uh, health free jump on like round 41 or something. 
which I was really surprised by because before that I think I got like 6 health furies. Also I noticed that every time we complete a horde beacon you get uh, 7 items like every single time. And also I noticed that like the amount of a single item you can get from one horde beacon is free. So I'm just gonna add up all the stuff that I got and I'll be right back. And also like find out the percentages for each of the items. Okay, so I got 23 high caliber military ammunition crates and the chance to get at least one is 46%. I got 22 high caliber ranger crates and the chance for these is 44%. I got 22 necro boxes and the chance is uh, again 44%. I got 20 desert falcons and the chance for this is 40%. I got only 6 grizzlies, so the chance to get one of these from a horde beacon is 12%. I got 11 echo mags, and the chance for these is 22%. I got 20 Matamoris magazines, and the chance for these are 40%. I got 12 timber wolves, and the chance for these is 24%. I got 6 health furies, and to get one it's a 12% chance. I got 27 grenades and to get these it's a 54% chance. Hunting badgers I got 7 with a 14% chance. I got 10 timberwolf mag and it's a 20% chance to get one. I got 15 ranger drums and it's a 30% chance to get one. I got 10 grizzly magazines and it's a 20% chance to get one. I got 21 desert falcon magazines and it's a 42% chance to get one. I got 31 military drums and it's a 62% chance to get one. I got 19 dragonfang boxes and it's a 38% chance to get one. I got 25 dragonfangs and it's a 50% chance to get one. I got 20 nightcrafts so it's a 40% chance to get one. I got only 12 echoes so it's a 24% chance to get one. I got 10 matamorises so it's a 20% chance to get one. And I only got one health fury drum which means it's a 2% chance. Maybe it's a bigger chance to get one and I was just unlucky but I don't know. So I'll put the updated spreadsheet on the screen right now with uh, the percentages and the totals. So you can pause the screen and look at it and read it and stuff, I don't know. I hope you guys did enjoy this video and if you did I'd appreciate it if you left a like and subscribe because this video did take uh, a really long time to make. It took like 6 hours to do like all 50 of the horde beacons and then another like 3 to edit and stuff. So yeah, that's all for the video and I'll see you in the next one.